Coach, how are you? Doing good. Continue to uh, get different situations in. Today's first day, of course, we had a chance to, uh, most games, a lot of games come down to what you do at the end of the game. Two minute drive. And I thought we did some good things there at the end to be able to, you know, kick a field goal. Defensive side of the ball was about taking away, either scoring and getting the ball back for the offense. And uh, we did that fairly well today. But when it's your team, uh, it's good for the defense, not good enough for the offense. We've got to protect the ball a lot better. It's the first chance we've had to talk to you since uh, Dre's injury. Uh, how's he doing? And, and uh, how have you talked to him? I mean, you know, when you have an injury you know, like that, it's not a, you know, not a whole lot to celebrate. It's part of it. He's had to come back from an injury before he'll come back from this. It kind of depends on running back position a little bit more than you'd like. Uh, what are your thoughts there right now with having one last man in the backfield? Just it. I mean, uh, for the guys we have right now, before we can get anybody else in, got to take advantage of these next few days. Uh, normally when there's an injury, it's an opportunity for somebody to step up. It's kind of simple as that. Yeah, I, I, Having Kendra Foster still here, because I know, you probably know he transferred trans briefly and then decided to stick around. How, how big a deal is it that he's staying and that he stayed? Yeah, I don't know much about him wanting to do any of that. He's been here every day I've been here, yeah. practicing hard every day. Uh, we're, we're lucky to have him on the team. It's kind of simple as that. He's done a, some good things throughout. We hear you're getting a new linebacker that your that your defensive coordinator is familiar yeah, with. Yeah, that's what I. That's right. Since we talked last, we've had an, a new addition. Um, really excited, of course, to have Party Senior here. He's done a great job. Defense, great job today, taking the ball away. But uh, I've known Hardy Junior for a long time too. Uh, it's established he's a good football player in college football. You talk about what a unique opportunity for him get a chance to play for his dad his senior year and it's a win for the University of Illinois to get a good football player like that so can't wait to get him here on campus and that's a position where you're a little light on veteran leadership anyhow so that was, you know, fills that uh, void a little bit he fills quite a few voids yes a guy that's played captain of his team there getting a great leader but you lead a lot uh, by what you do, that example that you set. And he'll set a great example for, for some of our guys. What do you need out of a bike linebacker in your system? Good play, simple as that. Playmaker. Uh, Mike linebacker, of course, just like the quarterback on the, on the offensive side. You can use a vocal guy that uh, keeps guys in line. And, uh, I think some guys are made to play Mike linebacker to, uh, to give a signal to make the calls and the huddle and for them to for him to be the one that everybody sees and start to play. And that's what we're getting with Hart. What's that impact to the rest of your linebacker group? How's it impact the rest of the guys? Yeah, but we have some young players. As we were saying earlier, I mean it you have a veteran that's done it. That, uh, you always need, you know, a veteran player to show the young guys exactly how to do it. They're not all young. I've been pleased with our play from our young guys. They've gotten better and better each day. To have uh, Julian Jones back and now having uh, Hardy come in, that's two, basically two additions to the worship with Julian's status is going to be that. Two additions to the linebacker position. How big of a deal was that for you guys? Big. You're right. Both of them are good players. Uh, whenever you add two players like that, any team would be better. So we're excited about that. Linebackers in our system have to do quite a bit. You get the right guy there, they can make a lot of plays, and that's what we're expecting from them. Coach, I heard, I heard some plants today in the, pre, in the practice. I'm sorry? Yeah, I heard some plants. <laughs> Was it good with you or not? Uh, I guess so. It would have to be. How's that? Actually, he performed at your Super Bowl. Um, I, you probably didn't watch it. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'll no, serious. No, I'm a, a big fan. I was a big, am a big fan to say the sure. least. I uh, grew up with him. And yes, he, the Super Bowl that we were there, the halftime, my family got a chance to see it. Okay. So uh, I was in mourning yesterday, still a little bit like everybody else. Uh, you know, a great one is left. Coach, I don't know if you're asking, but Jerry Brown, just the impact of that injury on your team? Yeah, I mean, it, whenever you lose a good football player, it impacts it. But injuries are part. We've lost a few good football players, but uh, that's what's happened. Now you kind of move on. It's an opportunity for another player to step up. We're going to play the season no matter what, so we need someone to, to move into that role now. Do you know when his surgery will be ready? Uh, hasn't been established yet. Okay. I see you got so, Mikey back out, which is 
I mean, even Mike's though here. it's good to see him back with the position. You know, you, your roles change throughout, you know, and right now, Mike and, of course, Dre will have a different role. Uh, cheer, you know, assistant coach, yeah. just encourage you. I mean, that's what we're going to ask them to do now. It's about all I can do now, but that's a lot. With uh, Trey, you'll have four guys at running back. Any, any plans to make some position shifts or anything like that to beef, beef up that yeah, position? We have plans, but, you know, it's pretty hard to go over them right now. I don't really want to, but uh, we'll be okay at the running back position. Lost, you lose good players, and you find a way to get a few more. Going back to Hardy, you know, very productive player at Cal in pretty much every facet, you know, whether you're talking about forcing fumbles, recovering fumbles, interceptions. What are some of the qualities that make uh, Hardy an impact player? Oh. First off, he's been around the game all his life. And, you know, from being in the home, seeing how a linebacker, you know, being around his dad, one of the ultimate professionals, one of all-time great guys to play. So that's what he's been raised on. And for the linebacker position to play a certain way, what's expected of it. And not just a linebacker, the Mike linebacker, the guy that the quarterback of the defense. So that's where we're getting. We got a lot better yesterday when he decided to come on board.